What's going on, guys? Taylor? And it's your boy, Dre. And welcome back to Star Wars Time, where we talk about <laughs> what, Dre? Uh, the final, final, final season of The Clone Wars. That's uh, right. They, they're just kind of keep beating it over your head if you if you really want anything else. And what was sort of strange about this episode, the way it started, it started different than last episode. Like It looks like every episode from now on are going to give us a different sort of Star Wars intro. Very unique, as yeah. it would say. And this one's actually called The Phantom Apprentice. And um, may I just say, the one thing that everyone learned in this episode was that episodes four through four through nine were all caused by Ahsoka Tano. That's what, <laughs> because Ahsoka Tano had the, had the option in this episode to make it right and to stop pretty much Anakin from being Darth Vader. And she chose no. And because of her actions, the whole, the whole movie series pretty much just happened because of her because her the domino effect of her her not trusting her feelings and saying no you can't turn even though even though in the movies the one thing was always luke was always telling darth i see good in you 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 know turned you i see good in you but no she saw no good in darth maul and because of that what happened to what happened happened i i I think it's hard (laughs) to blame her because darth maul is still a a, a maniacal madman who Almost like he didn't break. It's like if you try to convince somebody, like you know, you're under attack, but you sound like you're loony. People yeah. don't think you're still crazy. <laughs> like it's like he may have been on to something, but the way he's like going about it, like like he was just. It was almost like like the guy who had the, the, the tinfoil hat. He's just like uh, everything's. They're always against me. Everything. Oh, he's against this and he's against that. It's like look, if you had sat us down and like in a more dip- diplomatic kind of like situation and really kind of. <laughs> Explain like yourself. That they yeah, sat down <laughs> with like a logical plan instead of just like sounding like a madman. So it's really hard because he, it, it, even at some point, he she was kind of like, okay, I think I get what he's saying. Because she didn't she say, yeah, I'll help you. Yeah. And then like eventually, she, or and he was like, okay, so this she's been and like she said yeah at first. It's like okay, yeah. So this is what's up. Anakin's been being groomed to be the next apprentice. He's like, wait, no, you're lying. You know, I changed my <laughs> mind. And then they fought. I'm really surprised she actually won that fight, actually. It really kind of actually annoys me that she won that fight. because she You think she down. won that fight? Yeah. She got both her lightsabers knocked away. And that's and that's what surprises me. Like, okay, so she technically has won the fight. Like, I thought at that point he was going to leave and, like, you know, survive another day. But no, she managed just to overpower him. It, it only goes to show that, like, even with a double lightsaber and all his skills, she managed to basically beat him with her fist. I was like, okay, yeah. come on now. <laughs> but like, what's we, the we, whole point of making a lightsaber this <laughs> mystical Excalibur that every Jedi must have where she can beat somebody without it? Like, just her, literally, literally her bare hands. So. Yeah, your lightsaber is supposed to be an extension of you. You know, you're supposed to be one, one with your lightsaber. And yeah. you're right. She just beat him with nothing, even though he had a dual, uh, a dual, yeah. a dual blade. Like I, but, I'd, ex- I'd expected it up to that point. That okay, she lost the fight. It sucks, and then you know, so I, I assumed something was going to happen where they obviously because we see them later, so we know they don't, neither of them die. Yeah. But like the fact that she managed to overtake him without with zero lightsabers versus his double lights versus his <laughs> sword, like his style sword. His staff, she, yeah. Yeah, and she had nothing. I was like, okay, come on now. Now we're <laughs> now we've got this room where you're kind of stretching it a bit. Like if she had, if she had like lost both fight stages, but she cut his in half, so he was down to like not his his real type of sword, right? Like like he's he can manage with that. Then I'd understand, right? But mm-hmm. she was down to nothing, and he was down to his basic style of fighting, and she still. And but it, they it, they both were pretty much apprentices as well, or print apprentice, whatever you want to say it. But in their own way, because he was never yeah. a he was never a full on like Darth or whatever. He was just a he was a, a Sith apprentice, and she she was a Jedi apprentice. So, so I guess are you saying are you, so? Are you telling me that you think they're on us? Because I honestly think of Maul more than like, like maybe not on the same level as Obi Wan and Anakin, maybe like uh-huh. a step one step below them. And I've always thought of Ahsoka as at least two steps below. Like, if Ahsoka took on Obi-Wan or Anakin, she would never win. Do you think that the final episode will be Ahsoka seeing Darth Vader? No, I think it's going to be Order 66. You think, I think that's... I think that's where we're going to leave off. I think... Because um, 
I think so you're, saying it was, so you're saying I called it. Yeah, I, I think right. he called because <laughs> they're they're almost at the point where they're pushing like almost accidentally retconning some stuff, so they're gonna have to sum it up pretty soon. I'm actually looking forward to the next few episodes. I want to see what happens. I want I, I know we, we pretty much know what's gonna happen, but I want to see it play out. I want to see how what happens. We saw a hint of of um was it Maul talking to the Mandalorian saying that why are you guys hiding underground? And he already mentioned that they're hiding underground, so they're already aware they're already kind of familiar with hiding underground. So that just may be their their go to. Now that Maul's gone and the Jedi the the clone trip is gonna turn on the Jedi, there really isn't gonna be they're kind of going to be this they're probably gonna get scared and just leave and go underground and then you'll maybe you'll see them go to you know another planet you know where we see the mandalorian pick up you know granted it's many years later but we may see them start kind of use as a home and begin their begin their life there as underground you know as a bounty hunter society i'm actually looking forward to see what happens so yeah Cool, cool. So it's getting good. Uh, Dre's finally on board. That is the last, last couple <laughs> of episodes of this, this final season. And on that note, we shall see you guys later. Peace.